feel like I don't hear about it as much as when they just put out a single, which is pretty crazy. Exactly. And if the album's bad, then you're just gonna get flamed on Twitter for it. <laughs> yeah. If it's good, it's like, you're still not gonna get like, the praise you should be getting, you know? Yeah. And like, if you have one bad single, people will just be like, ah, oh, that sucks. But if you put out a yeah. album and it's all ass, they're gonna be like, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm thinking about it from like, the project perspective of like, your legacy. Mm -hmm. Like in tw in ten years, when you release like let's say three four albums, people are gonna go on your profile, and they're just gonna see all your albums, and then they're gonna listen to them, and it's gonna, it can be all your good songs together. It should be like almost like a playlist of your good songs. Re releasing an album after you've already released a bunch of singles. Yeah. You can also kind of like gauge what people like. So like if you do put out one bad song, you'd be like, oh, they did not like that one. And exactly. Then, like, you can kind of pivot before you commit to a whole really shitty album. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I feel like the future is like releasing most of your songs as singles and then maybe like two or three of them are like surprises. Yeah. Like the way that they do deluxe albums now, mm -hmm. how you get like an extra four songs, that should be how like a regular album is. Yeah. Because if you already know that like 80% of the album is going to be good, then you're taking a lot less of a risk when you release an album. Yeah. Maybe like save the Smash singles for like the release of it. Yeah, that's kind of like... Sorry, I'm just listening to make sure it's on time. Where are you? Because, um... That's kind of how albums started out originally, it was just like a collection of songs, and I feel like that makes more sense in terms of like, like, I don't know, it's always been weird to me to like, be like, I have to write this as an album, mm -hmm. rather than just putting all your good stuff together. You're right, because people used to actually perform their songs before they put the album out. Mm -hmm. So you'd, you'd gauge like with the audience and with the crowd like what your best songs are. But there's no like proving ground nowadays for like that type of thing. It's just like you, you put it, you make it in your own bubble and then you don't know if it's good or not and then you put it out. Yeah, especially with like a lot of solo artists. Because like if you have a band, you can perform it, but if you're a exactly. solo artist... You have to get the whole like instrumental made before you can even have the song done. So there's not really any way to perform it until after it's done. Yeah. Kanye was sort of doing that like pre-album shows in yeah. LA and like gauging what songs the audience liked the best. That was cool. Yeah. Because then you can he like he changed his album based on on that. Yeah, that's the smart way to do it too. I think now it's like, they put out a snippet on TikTok, and if it doesn't do well, then they don't even release the song. Yeah. From what I've been hearing, which is kind of crazy, but... You gotta have a little more faith in yourself than that.